I'm from a bit of a smaller sort of village, so I didn't think that there would be as much of a community vibe in Maynooth when I first started here. We're a very prominent family in the English court. There is Carton House, which is where essentially this family moved to because the castle ended up in ruins. <laughs> okay. So, is the accent of Maynooth particular? Is it similar to Dublin? Uh, Hello YouTube, my name is Mark, welcome to my channel and this is the episode 2 of Foreigner in Ireland. We are here in County Kildare in Maynooth to explore a little bit the city and to talk, if possible, with some of its citizens. So let's get into it. I never make promises, cause I don't keep them. Maynooth may not be considered a mandatory visit in Ireland. However, it is a town that has its charms and a cozy atmosphere. Located in County Kildare, about 50,000 people live in this city. Their motto is Cromabu, the meaning of which is a little hard to explain. Said quickly, it means Crum forever, and Crum is a castle in Limerick, formerly owned by a family called Fitzgerald. Anyway, Maynooth is a town full of history and also well known for educational reasons. No I'm very famous, that's why. I'm very famous. <laughs> so I'll sit next to you if you don't mind. Of course. Yeah. Go cool. for it. So Rachel, you told me that you work here. Mm -hmm. Tell me your thoughts about Manuth. Uh, well, I'm from a bit of a smaller sort of village, so I didn't think that there would be as much of a community vibe in Maynooth when I first started here because it's a much bigger town than where I'm from. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm sort of pleased to report that there is. There's a great community feel here. We get a lot of regulars and a lot of people that you kind of get to be a part of their sort of their daily lives, which is mm -hmm. great. It's nice to have a, set, a community feel. Mm -hmm. What's your job like, if you can tell us? Uh, I manage the wine bar here behind us. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I've been doing that for just over a year. Mm -hmm. So I sell wine, basically. Okay. Do you recommend your wines? Of course, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good wine, good company. You can't go wrong. What's your name, sir? My name is Michael Kelleher. Nice to meet you, Michael. My name is Mark. We are here in Menuth. How is the correct pronunciation, first of all? Menuth. Menuth. So the Y, you would eliminate it from the uh, Well, not completely. You would say Menuth. Menuth. Oh. Maynooth, so a yes. little bit, okay. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this town. I guess the university is the central point of this town, is it? Well, there are a number of highlights of the town, but mm -hmm. this is one of them, okay? And where we are standing is actually the Pontifical University. Okay. And over here on the north campus is the secular university, mm -hmm. uh, Maynooth University. But where you are standing here with me, this is St. Patrick's College in Maynooth. Okay. And it has a very long history. This is the older part of it here. Pope John Paul II was actually in this church here. But then the town centre is over that way. And uh, there are a number of shopping centres around the place as well. Mm -hmm. This would be the main student area. So where we are now, you can see students on a daily basis? Oh yes, you can. Like this is the pontifical part, but there are secular students mingling in here with the people who are training for the priesthood. Mm -hmm. So what's your name? Laura. Laura. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you, Laura. You told me you are... You are uh, my name is Mark, sorry. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> you told me you are from Germany, yeah? Yes, I'm from Germany. Which part? From Frankfurt. Oh, cool. Yeah. And you, you just arrived here, like recently? Yes, one week ago I was arriving here. One yeah. week, okay. Yes. What are you studying? Uh, I'm studying theology. Geology? Yes, oh. theology. In St. Patrick's College now. Okay. Yes. Why did you decide to move to Ireland to study? I think it's a nice country with nice landscapes. Um, we didn't have such nice, nice landscapes in Germany, so um, maybe it's fine to be here and okay. um, meet new people and get to know about uh, more about the culture and something like that. You're definitely studying in Maynooth University, yeah? Um, I'm studying in uh, St. Patrick's College. So oh, it's different. It's, I think it's a bit different. Oh, I don't okay. know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Your name? Uh, my name is Craig Smith. Craig, nice to meet you. My name is Mark. So tell me a little bit about Maynooth, the town, the university. Are you studying him? Yeah? Uh, yeah, so I'm currently a student on the Professional Masters of Education program in Maynooth University. I actually did my undergraduate degree here as well in Irish and history. So the town 
it's quite interesting. It has about 12,000 people, but interestingly enough, the university also has a similar number of students. So the town essentially doubles in size during right. the academic year. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, <laughs> How much is, for example, uh, a degree? Or How much? Per year? So in Ireland, most public universities, a uh, degree is about €3,000 per year. Now, if depending on how much you earn, the state might pay that for you, but it depends. What's the thing that you like most about your town? This, because it's a lovely place to go for a walk with our little dog and you get out of the traffic. But also, we go up to Carton House up here. We would go walking and cycling around there and also Maynooth is on the Royal Canal which links Dublin with the River Shannon. The Royal Canal is getting very popular now because there there is a greenway so you have people walking and cycling on this greenway and if you walk far enough you will end up in Athlone or even further. They told me about Athlone also, it's a nice place, yeah? Yes it is. Athlone is a town in the centre of Ireland on the River Shannon. Is it expensive? To stay here? Yeah, to, to live here? To study. I, I have a to- uh, scholarship. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a Erasmus student yeah. and so my home university pays for uh, pays the fees yeah. from here. So. 100%, like all the yes, fees? all the fees. Wow, yes. you're lucky. Yes, <laughs> really lucky. Okay. Well, so far, it's been only a week. How do you find the city? How do you find the people? The people are very nice and friendly. The city is really very small. I came from uh, Frankfurt and it's really big mm. and here it's really small, like a small town. But I've been to Dublin mm. a few times, really nice city. Yeah, I started drinking in the, in the afternoon, so mm. it's uh, much fun mm-hmm. here. Could you make a few friends in this week or still? Yes, yes. I've met my uh, Erasmus group Mm -hmm. and all the Erasmus students and we are 20 and half of them, so 10, are from Germany too. So, um, yeah. You're going to have fun because I was in your place uh, a while ago. (laughs) It's going to be fun. So what are your regular customers like? Uh, Students, uh, all ages? We get all ages. We get a lot of date nights as well. So a lot of people out for maybe anniversaries or for birthdays and things like that for special occasions. So it's nice to be a part of people's celebrations. Okay, that's a personal opinion, but I think Irish people tend to drink more beer than wine. Do you think like that or there is a lot of Irish that would drink wine? There is a good amount of Irish that drink wine and young people are definitely getting more into it, particularly with the natural wine movement. And the Irish consumer is actually far easier to sell to than, say, the Spanish or the Italian or the French because a lot of places, if you're a wine-producing country, you're like, okay, I'm from Tuscany, the best wine in the world is from Tuscany or I am from, okay. you know, Rioja region, I, the best wine in the world is Rioja, whatever it is. Uh, whereas Irish people are pretty much open to whatever because we don't produce wine ourselves so we don't have sort of locked in opinions we're willing to sort of try Mm -hmm. I hope you have some Spanish wine though of course (laughs) we do we import a lot of wine from Spain as well okay thank you for taking part Rachel it was nice pleasure nice to meet you Mark and how is living here uh, with all the students Uh, do you like it is it like a nice environment to live oh it is a nice environment to live it is definitely a very nice environment to live because there is a a lot of young energy in the town Mm -hmm. it can get busy during the school or the academic terms and uh, lately there have been a lot of people trying to secure accommodation uh, in the town and they're having a little bit of difficulty like in every part of Ireland yeah but uh, is the rent cheaper here or because of the university it's similar prices to Dublin I would expect it wouldn't be far off the Dublin prices because of the high demand of students. Uh, because of the high demand, exactly. And for example, your master, is it different, the price? Yeah, so the master's is different. The master's essentially you have to fund yourself. It depends on the course you're doing. So for example, fresh master's of education works out as between the two years, it works out as 10,800 euro. Okay. So it can be quite expensive compared to other countries in Europe. Mm-hmm. Are you happy studying here? Yes, I love it. For a college, it has such a relaxed atmosphere. The town is so relaxed and because it's such a small town as well, you're constantly running into people, you know. it's. I love the community. And what are the students like uh, for, from abroad, Irish? Uh, we have Erasmus students and international students as well. A lot of Irish people tend to come here as well. A lot of people tend to commute in from Dublin, County Meath, in the surrounding areas. As I say, most people are absolutely lovely. 
Any goals you set in Ireland? Yeah, I want to see um, Cliffs of Moher and I want to see Cork and Galway, Belfast maybe. Yeah, to, to come around and visit uh, the country and um, yeah, see all the nice landscapes here. Cool. Thank you very much, Laura, for taking part. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Is the accent of Maynooth particular? Is it similar to Dublin? Uh, well, I think Irish accents now have got very, um, very similar to each similar. other. Unless you are going to more Galway accent, a Kerry accent, a Louth accent. I think the Maynooth, North Kildare, Dublin accent would be probably very similar. Thank you, Michael, for taking part in my video. Okay, you're very welcome. Thank you. And apart from the university, anything that you like about Maynooth? See, I'm a history student, so the thing I love about Maynooth is the history. It's such a fascinating history because we're on the extent of an area called the Pale in Ireland where essentially English customs and laws would have applied. So this is sort of the edge of it and after it, Gaelic Ireland and Gaelic clans and stuff. For example, over there is Maynooth Castle yeah. where you know there would have been the Dukes of Leinster or the Earls of Kildare uh, who were a very prominent family in the English court. In fact, down the other end of the town there is Carton House which is where essentially this family moved to because the castle ended up in ruins. Okay. <laughs> so it has a fascinating history and it's a really interesting town. Thank you, Greg. Thank uh, you so much. Yep. So that's it for the second episode of Foreigner in Ireland here in Maynooth, County Kildare. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give a like, subscribe. I will leave you my Instagram here. And I'll see you sooner than later or later than sooner with a new video.